what's going on youtube i'm back with another video um it's been a little while since i've been on here probably over a month um you know i i wanted to get on a little bit more than that but i had a really rough month of december um starting with catching covid before the holidays so i was down uh two weeks with that and then um you know the holidays came up so i had my kids were in town my grandkids um you know just had a house full of family uh for the past two weeks been doing a lot of uh holiday family activities so i really haven't had time to get on here but i'm back and i've really been anxious to get on and do a review of this this is my sig p365x this is my latest handgun purchase i actually purchased this back in november but um Due to, you know, me getting sick in the holidays, I just didn't have time to actually do a review on it. So now I, I'm here to do an unboxing and uh, first impressions on this gun. I'm really excited about this. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to get right into this. Um, this is my first ever SIG purchase. I've always been a pretty much a Glock fan, but um, you know, I have a few friends that own SIGs and they speak so highly of them. So I figured... Why not? Let's see what they're talking about. And I actually really do like this pistol. Comes in a nice uh, hard plastic case. I'll go ahead and pop it open. Now, this is not a true unboxing. I have shot this gun. I've had it since November. Like I said, I've actually been carrying it. So you might be able to see there's a little bit of holster wear on it. But um, I tried to put everything back in the box as close to how it came as possible. So I can show you how it came. So course we want to you see the gun first of all um comes with two magazines now what i will say is that this gun normally a 12 plus one capacity gun but because i live in the great state of maryland which has a magazine capacity limit of 10 rounds or less this gun this gun came with two 10 round magazines but uh, we are uh, able to uh, get our hands on magazines of higher than 10 round capacity in Maryland. It's legal to possess them. It's just not legal to buy them or take possession of them in Maryland. But we can, uh, you know, have them shipped to an address outside of Maryland and pick them up. Or we can just drive out of state and get them. And it's legal for us to bring them into Maryland. So I actually do have some of the original 12 round magazines that this gun is supposed to come with on the way they just have not been delivered yet so now for now i have the two 10 round magazines so it's 10 plus one at the moment but you know i don't feel under gun with it um you know I, I you know i don't i don't go through a war zone even though i do live and travel throughout baltimore which can be kind of dangerous but you know I'm, I, I don't hang out much um you know i mainly carry it when I'm going to and from work or maybe running to the store, stuff like that. So I, you know, I don't find myself in too many dangerous situations. So I'm fine with 10 plus one. A lot of these guns out here are 10 plus ones, especially when you get into these uh, micro compact nine millimeters, which is the class that this gun falls into. But this is just a tag that came with it. This was wrapped around the trigger guard, just a warning telling you to read your, um, your user's manual. This is the flag. Um, that came in the uh, chamber to when I bought it to let you know that it was safe. Um, here's your owner's manual. Um, got a sticker. Uh, looks like some advertisements for SIG uh, ammunition. Yep. Yeah, it's an advertisement for the ammo. And, um, this is a card uh, describing some uh, lubricant that they included a sample with, which I don't have right now, but um, I didn't use it. I had plenty of lube laying around for my guns, so um, you know I just added to the stash. Here's a NRA advertisement. Here's another advertisement. It looks like some of Sig's products, light, uh, light laser combo, that Romeo Zero optic which this gun is optic cut. And then here's a advertisement for the USCCA. And it, if you join it through this, it comes with a 
200 round ammo package, which is pretty neat. And then of course, under here, you're gonna have the lock, which all firearms come with, of course. So let's get the case out of the way. Get this over here. Get a closer look at this pistol. So before I get started, I'm just gonna show that it's clear. So we're gonna drop the mag out, drop the mag, and uh, show you that the chamber's empty. Nothing in it. Clear. So this, um, you know, like I said, this this is SIG, one of um, SIG's uh, micro compact knives. You would consider this is, uh, you know, a lot of people know about the 365, which um, I have a buddy who has a 365. Basically, you can, um, the 365 and the 365X are pretty much the same gun. The only difference is the, this X model has a longer grip. Um, the 365 was um, 10 plus one. This one is 12 plus one. So the grip is a little longer, it gives you a little better purchase on the gun and also um, the um, the two extra two extra rounds but um they're pretty much almost the same there's there's some slight differences like this beaver tail on the x model but um and then uh you know you got this optic cut which is real nice um got a loaded chamber indicator up there which i like um you can when when there's a round chamber you can see it through there so you know you don't need to be doing a bunch of press checks and stuff like that even though i don't do that but um you know me being um a glock a glock fan um and this being my first first sig i was really impressed with the sights that came with this gun this gun comes with three dot tritium night sights and they're metal which is uh uh, a hell of an upgrade over the sights that Glock comes with. Everybody knows that Glock comes with those cheap plastic sights that you can barely make out in the in the night in in the night or low light situations. Um, unless you buy the the nineteen X, which came with night sights. But other than that, um, I feel like whenever you buy a Glock, you, the first thing you have to do is change the sights. This gun already came with some nice sights in place and also like i said the optic cut which is a big plus and then it comes with a rail so you know me being a person who owns a uh, glock 43x uh and that's been my edc for quite some time this is a uh, a real nice upgrade i wanted the 43x mos but it's extremely hard to find in my area i was able to find this gun which offers everything that the 43X MOS offers plus more, like I said, because like I said, the, the sights are a tremendous upgrade over Glock. But, you know, this is a, a pretty straightforward handgun. It's all business, doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, doesn't even have a safety. Um, you got your takedown lever, your slide, uh, slide lock, uh, got your magazine release. They're all made of metal. And then the trigger itself is made of metal. So, um, you know, like I said, it's a feels a lot sturdier than any of my Glocks. Um, has front and front and rear slide cock considerations. And one of my favorite things about this gun that I wanted to discuss is the grip. I really love this grip for a few reasons. First of all, I like this finger groove and this undercut in the uh, trigger guard allows you to get a nice high purchase on the gun. I like the beaver tail. Uh, just gives you something to press up against. And uh, you can see this is contoured. So it's not quite, it's not, fing it doesn't have finger grooves, but it is a very comfortable grip. And this texture, uh, very nice. Um, you know, these, these are things that people pay extra to get done to their pistols uh, that this gun came with. This is a really nice grip texture. It's like sandpaper, but it's not too aggressive to where it's irritating, but um, it's uh, it, it gives you a really nice grip on the gun. So 
the grip itself is one of my favorite things about this firearm. But, and then also the fact that it's just a very attractive firearm. And it's, um, you know, I've shot it. It's a really nice shooter. Um, I want to show you a couple other things. And one thing I really don't like about it. So I'm going to change the camera angle around and get right back to it. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to change the camera angle around so I could, first off, get a better look at the grip, which, like I said, is really nice. And for my hand size, this is perfect. I mean, it, it fits my hand perfect. You know, people have different hand sizes, so it's not going to fit everybody perfect. Some people's pinky is going to hang off. Um, it just fits in my hand like a glove, which is... Uh, you know, uh, one of the reasons why this has become my uh, new favorite EDC pistol. Um, it's a nice shooter. Like I said, I've I've shot it. Um, you know, I, I went, went in Maryland. We had this uh, rule where whenever we buy a pistol or anything that's considered a handgun, we have to we have a seven day waiting period, um, and during which they'll do a. a a background check, another background check, and uh, some other things. So uh, the cool thing about one of the gun shops that I that I uh, buy from is that they also have a range there. And while your gun is in that seven-day waiting period, which we call, jokingly call, handgun jail, they will let you come in and shoot it. So I was able to shoot this gun before I picked it up and put, you know, I got to put quite a few rounds through it, enough rounds through it to where I felt comfortable carrying it. And I have actually been carrying it over, you know, for a little bit over a month since November. Uh, I've been carrying it with this. Uh, this is a DeSantis Pegasus uh, Slim Tuck holster. Now I will say that I'm not a huge fan of this holster. It's not the most comfortable holster. I will give it a good mark as far as retention goes. As you can see, you can shake this and this thing doesn't fall out. So it it, it does retain the firearm really well. And they also have a, an adjustment, a tension screw, if you need to add or take away from the retention. The 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 thing that I don't like about it is like is that uh I actually prefer the holsters with the wider clip in the middle versus this clip on the side. Uh you know, this causes this sometimes to dig into, I carry appendix and sometimes causes this to dig into my um, abdomen. And this uh, this site and the, this beaver tail can, you know, they, you if you're, say if you're riding in a car or um, just carrying it for any length of time, sometimes it can get a little uncomfortable. But, you know, um, a lot of times, you know, you just want to be, as, when you're carrying, you just want to be as comfortable as possible. But um, so, you know, and I do also prefer something with a sweat guard. But I bought this holster because this was when I, at the time when I bought the gun, I went to a few different gun stores and this was the only holster that I could find in the area that would fit the gun. Um, but, you know, as far as it not having a sweat guard, um, it's winter time now, so sweat is not a huge problem by the time the summertime comes around i will have maybe one or two more holsters for this gun um i still have to decide if i'm going to put a light or a red dot or both on um you know on one hand i do want to add a light and a red dot but on the other hand i do like the sleekness and the compactness of this gun as you can see how slim it is it's very slim not much longer than your finger. I mean, not much wider than your finger, I'm sorry. And it's um, very concealable as is. And it, and it just feels really well in hand. So I don't know if I want to add anything to it yet. I'm debating, but you know, um, I do, I will, will give myself that option. But um, for now, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy with this gun. It, it works. It, like I said, it's a nice shooter, especially for the the uh, small size. The one thing that I do not, that I definitely do not like about this gun is the trigger. Now the trigger itself is a flat 
trigger that actually feels a lot better than Glock triggers or any of those other triggers with the with the safety lever in it. So the trigger itself feels pretty good, but the trigger pull is what I do not like about it. And I'm not a trigger snob, so it, you know it's not like I'm going to change it. But it's just very mushy, and uh, I couldn't. The best way to describe it, it reminds me of uh, mashed potatoes, and it has this cheap plastic uh, sound to it when it breaks, and it's not a very clean, crisp break at all. So what I'm going to try to do is show it to you. I'm going to pull it back a little bit, and uh, let's see if let's see if you can hear that. Hear what it sounds like. It just sounds cheap. It feels like a toy almost. Listen to that. You heard that and uh like i said it's not a clean break at all the uh the reset isn't bad whoops i like locked the chamber back let's see if i can show you the reset reset isn't bad this gun is still a little tight i gotta break it in but let's listen to that so the reset is not bad but you can hear that cheap sound when it breaks this thing is still tight, so that's why I keep locking the slide back. But listen to that. One more time. So, like I said, I do not necessarily care for the trigger. I will say that this is probably, I'm not even going to say probably, this has got to be the worst trigger on any handgun that I, any gun that I own, period. But... Like I said, I'm not a trigger snob. I'm not a competition shooter. So I will not be changing it. Um, you know, when I was at the range, I was able to get the job done with it. So, you know, we're gonna rock with it. But, you know, if, if you're looking for a gun with a real clean, crisp trigger, um, this is definitely not the gun for you. Or if you do decide to go with it, you probably wanna change, change out the trigger. But um, other than that, I don't have anything else negative to say about this gun. I love it. I'm going to keep it. Like I said, it's my um, new um, everyday carry. Um, and, you know, I love it. It's comfortable to wear. It's very concealable. And um, also, it's an attractive pistol. So, um, you know, like I said, um, I do own other uh, micro compacts. I own a Glock 43X and I also own a Hellcat Pro. The both. Uh, micro compact nine millimeters, um, all in the same class. So in one of my future videos, I'm gonna compare all three of them side by side by side and show why this one, as far as my opinion and my needs won out as far as being my EDC. But that's all I really have to say about it. And also, also um, the next video, I'll take them all to the range and I'll shoot them and uh, you know do some do some mag dumps and you know show how they perform i'll compare how they how they shoot and um you know recoil all that good stuff so um that'll be an upcoming video but for now that's all i have to say about this sig p365x chambered in nine millimeter love this little pistol um if you're looking for a small uh compact concealable nine at nine millimeter that still has decent magazine capacity I would definitely recommend checking this one out. This comes in, I believe, I, it was about a month ago, like I said, but if I m remember correctly, between five and six hundred dollars, I would say, uh, somewhere in between there. So um, it won't break the bank, and it's a quality firearm. So you know, check it out. See if you can get get your hands on one and shoot it. See how you like it. Uh, anybody have any experience with this gun? uh pros cons let me know down in the comments um always checking out the comments for positive and negative feedback but that's all i really have to say for now about this so until next time have fun get some shooting done and as always be safe peace we are out